Life is a procession of events that continually leads us from the end of one road to the beginning of another. The road of my formation as a Norbertine priest began seven years ago and led to my ordination on December 18, 2010, the third Saturday of Advent. Being ordained in Advent was a particular blessing for me, not only because Advent is a time of expectation and renewal in our liturgical year, but also because our founder, St. Norbert, was ordained on the same day in 1115. The Eucharist of my ordination was celebrated in the church and at the altar of Dalesford Abbey, with Bishop Timothy Sr. presiding. I remember noting that it was a happy coincidence that during the first part of the Mass, I was seated to the far left of the altar, nearly the very spot I used to stand when I played the djembe at Mass when I first came to the Abbey 12 years ago. To me, it was like returning to where I had been and now being invited to go deeper. The readings for the day were the prophet Jeremiah promising the Israelites that they would return home and the evangelist Matthew recounting how Joseph's trust in a dream played a crucial part in the birth of Jesus. In his homily, Bishop Sr. wove the Advent readings into an ordination exhortation. He challenged me to grow in trust and holiness that I, as a priest of Jesus, may stir up the desire in God's people to be in union with God and to guide them there. He encouraged me to, quote, Always be stirred by the dream that reveals the loving plan of God for all creation. End quote. This reminded me of St. Norbert's own dream in founding his community at Premontre, that all his followers, both vowed and lay, together would worship Christ in all that they did. I'm glad Bishop Sr. sent me a copy of the homily since it was so full of things to remember and live. After making my promises to the bishop, the community asked the saints of God to pray over me as I made my public commitment to serve God's people. The posture of prostration which accompanies the litany of the saints reflects the inner disposition of a servant. Humble, vulnerable, and submitting to God. These were not my thoughts at the time. I was rather enjoying the beautiful time of private prayer in the midst of my community of Dalesford Abbey and of the larger community of the saints. The bishop and all the priests present then gave me their blessing, welcoming me as their brother, priest, and friend. And celebrating the Mass for the first time made me realize how much I'm a part of the Norbertine community, but also how much a part of the local church with the bishop, and through him, a part of the universal church. After the final blessing, I was able to experience the joy of extending that blessing to others, beginning with Bishop Sr., who approached me immediately after Mass in the sacristy. I thought this was a very moving gesture of humility. My parents, who were supportive of me throughout my discernment, were among the first to receive my first blessings as a Norbertine priest. My journey of life begun with my parents, continues on now as I follow the road of ordained ministry. <laughs>